Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another breakfast at Tracy's. It is Friday today, and I am glad that you are here. We have been looking all week long at great statements of faith in the Bible. And the reason that I'm doing that, I'm bringing that to you, is because I want to encourage you in your walk with Christ today. I want to encourage you to make these same statements for yourself. And, and really, in part, they're for me too, because I need all of this as well. Today's lesson is called Your Faith Gives the Benefit of the Doubt. And this is coming from the book of Hebrews. And we don't really know who wrote the book of Hebrews. Uh, it's kind of an unknown author, but has some tremendously powerful statements of faith in it. And here's one of them. He, he says, So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will, we will receive his mercy and will find grace to help us when we need it most. Have you ever doubted God? I mean, have you ever prayed and thought, this is going nowhere. This is a waste of time. Uh, I don't think anyone's really listening. I've had those moments myself, myself. I know what that feels like. And the faith that we need even to pray and ask for God's help comes from Him. And so part of uh, giving God the benefit of the doubt is understanding that uh, he really is loving, that he really does care more about what's going on in our lives than we give him credit for, that he really is more willing to help us and give us the grace that we need to live our lives than we can ever imagine. This is Faith gives the benefit of the doubt to God and says it is worth going to God in prayer. It is worth going to God and saying, you know, God, I don't even have the faith today to ask you for anything. I don't have the faith for you to transform me at all. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't, I'm not feeling this thing today. Even that is a step of faith to do that. You know, you can't pump up faith. It's not an emotion. It is an act of, of the will. It is it is trust. Trust is an agreement that yes, God is like that. Yes, God does help like that. It takes us to prayer. Prayer is not what God can do for me. It's what God can do in me. That is the purpose of prayer. And giving uh, him the benefit of the doubt is believing the best in him no matter what. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pray for grace to trust that we can go to him for help at, at any time. And when you have faith that gives God the benefit of the doubt, you will find yourself praying not out of duty so much as need. And that's really what God wants. He wants us to need him because he's the source of everything we could possibly need. Let's pray. Lord, I know sometimes it's hard to give you the benefit of the doubt. And many of us have come to you or not come to you because we just haven't been feeling it. We just don't, we don't believe that, that you are really interested or that you really uh, are, are powerful or that you really are, are loving. And so, uh, God, I ask that you to help us to give you, uh, to trust you, to give you the benefit of the doubt that we will receive grace that we will receive mercy, that when we need it the most, you will be there. Lord, help us to give you that, just that little bit of faith, that little bit of trust. God, I, I pray that you'd, you'd grant that to myself, to all the people who are watching, that, that we would begin to pray, not because it's part of our routine every day, not because someone told us it's a good idea, but because we need you, because we crave you in our soul. God, may you spread a hunger for prayer, a hunger for you through prayer to all the people listening. I pray this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. God bless you. Give God the benefit of the doubt today and go to him in prayer because you need him. God bless.